Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here doing some more PlayStation Mobile True First Impressions. This is the first one I've recorded since the announcement that PlayStation Mobile is actually shutting down. And that's a little bit disappointing because I quite enjoy digging through all the PlayStation Mobile games to see if there's anything good in there or not. Uh, it's good fun, but unfortunately in a few months won't be able to do that. So I've made a little bit of a pact to get through as many as I can. Not because that I just want to get it done, which is, it's kind of true that I want to get it done because this is seriously going to take fucking hours, but seriously, there's a lot of games I haven't gotten around to covering yet, and I start as I mean to go on. These are all the downloads I've still got left to do, and I've got four, five games here already. This is going to be a bit nuts. So anyway, we're just going to move straight on to Shadow Ninja Rush. When the game decides it wants to load, there's a lot of these powered by Unity games, but you never know if they're going to be any good. Just because it's powered by Unity doesn't mean it's a shit car powered by Unity. What's the vision of that? It sounds kind of familiar, but I'm not going to try and put my tongue on it in the middle of the video. My god, it looks like someone's cut a piece of pork out, stuck it on that 2D figurine via copy and paste, a terrible copy and paste, and just drawn black lines over, <laughs> over it. Oh god, I'm gonna be doing this round with Oh Jesus Christ, why? It's staring into my fucking soul! Why is this loading screen so long? Stop it! Get it away! Seriously, what the hell is that? I Oh god, music. Out of nowhere. Oh god. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna turn this down a bit, okay. Shut and rush. Challenge it. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, oh, this is a wonderful. St What's going on? Did he even launch flowers around him? What was that? Wow, okay, so. Apparently, challenges mode is. something where that you can have it. blocks just pop out on you out of fucking nowhere. As soon as you spawn, and it will immediately cause you to fail. That sounds like such a bad idea. Uh, also, there's a red dot going around the screen, but for the life of me, I can't figure out what that is. Uh, I think we're just going to go to new game. Okay, so the music, the sound effects, and the graphics are all quite different from each other stylistically. Bloody hell, you have to time this jump perfectly. Extremely perfectly! Fucking hell! Okay, that was odd. Bollocks. 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 Seriously, this, this music doesn't fit the game at all. Good good lord. So I guess that's what the challenge mode was. It was just they pick a, bu a random bunch of the levels from the single player game, stick them end on end and see how many you can last through when picked at random. Unfortunately, it seems relatively unfair because of that very first jump that's you have to react to that extremely quickly. I mean, Jesus Christ. God, I'm only on stage A and I've already died 50 times. I just want to point out that I paid 50 bucks for this and it looks like a game I'd play on Newgrounds. I got nothing against Newgrounds, but Jesus Christ, you you know your game's bad when you can compare it to a game on Newgrounds, and... You know what game I... Just completely fucking off topic, because I'm bored of sin already. Completely off fucking topic. Does anyone remember that game Elephant Quest? That game was fantastic. For a, for a goddamn Flash game, that's one of the best goddamn platformers I've played on a system like Flash. Because goddamn, that game was brilliant. That game was brilliant. There are a lot of brilliant games on Flash. Too bad you couldn't get Flash running on this. That'd be an easy fucking solution, wouldn't it? 
Imagine that, just being able to cram the flash player in. That would be odd. Probably work too. I mean, you got the touch screen and you can pretty much all flash scales down pretty well. And since this has got both buttons to simulate keyboard keys and... Can someone get Shockwave Flash running on this? Can someone get Flash running on this? Seriously. Also, this puzzle looks like it's going to be a puzzle. What am I talking about? This isn't a fucking puzzle. This is a... It, just, it was a fucking timing thing. I, I, yeah, look at that. I get the idea you would not be able to finish this puzzle if you didn't time your entry correctly. God, that challenges mode is so fucking unfair now that I've actually played a couple of the stages. Game? Fuck you! Yeah, look, it actually goes higher. It actually goes higher than you can jump. So there's no way over it. I'm stuck. I'm quite literally fucking stuck. Unbel- oh, never mind. I don't know how I managed to do that. Wow. It, God, it just seems so unfair to have something occur so soon after you respawn. Wow. The music just loops forever, doesn't it? Honestly, I could probably make this in Game Maker in like 20 minutes. This is... <laughs> this is fucking terrible. My god, that... If I ever hear that noise in real life, I'm gonna punch the person in the mouth who's responsible for it. I just... That... Suck. My. Dick. Is this really all there is to it? It's just... One jump, no special abilities... Of any kind, whatsoever. Obscure timing puzzles that make the challenge... I, I would say impossible. I'm honestly gonna say it would be fucking impossible to beat this game in challenge mode. 205 deaths. Fuck that in the ass. That was Shadow Ninja Rush and that was Shadow fucking terrible. This has been Blue Maxima and I'll see you all next time.